And welcome to Empower Our Girl Edition Part 2. Thank you for spending part of your Saturday morning with us. I'm Katie Miller, and I have the pleasure of leading the Athleta Girl brand. Here at Athleta Girl, our mission is to keep you staying active and staying in the game. We believe that playing sports, participating on teams, and being active helped you build strength, confidence, and friendships that last with you throughout your lives. And we know things look a little, probably a lot different right now. And if it's anything like our household, you're missing your friends, your teammates, your sports, your classrooms, and many of your favorite activities. And we have been so inspired watching you guys get creative and find ways to stay active and stay connected throughout these times. And we hope today's program will be inspiring for you. We are so lucky again to be joined by three amazing female athletes. And I have the pleasure of introducing you to our host of the day, Tunde Oyanane. Tunde is a Peloton instructor, a motivational speaker, and founder of Speak, a platform that allows people dealing with adversity to be heard. Thank you so much, Tunde, and we hope you all enjoy the program. Thanks, Katie. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I can't believe it's part two. That means seven days have flown by already. Uh, I am such a big fan of Athleta, and I am a huge supporter of their mission to support and empower young girls. So thank you guys for having me. Uh, I am a cycling instructor with Peloton. If you don't know what Peloton is, it's like the biggest fitness platform, global fitness platform on the planet. Every single day I wake up and I'm just like, how do I work for this company? I say that because when I was the age of you guys, so many of you on the stream, I was quite possibly the least active person ever. I would have never considered myself athletic. In fact, I tried out for just about every single sport that my middle school and my high school had, and I literally never made the cut. So I'm super excited that Gabby and Lexi are here today. Maybe they can teach me some of their cheer skills and I can finally make the team. Uh, but uh, back then I let so many obstacles get in my way. And I, I say all of that just to say that you are all so young and you have such bright futures. If you're starting here where you all are right now already, then uh, there's so much in store for you. And I'm so excited uh, to hang out and to chat with you guys today. Now, I kind of already spilled the beans. We have Gabby and Lexi from the Netflix docu-series Cheer. They will be here in just a moment joining us. I'm super excited. They're gonna be, they're gonna start kick off the event by stretching with us um, and showing us how they get into some of their moves. So they'll be coming on and joining us in just a moment. If you aren't in an open space, push some things aside, create some space. If one of your parents is with you, ask them to join you and then we'll all get our stretch on. Gabby, Lexi, you ladies here? Do, 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 do. All right, while the ladies are waiting, or while we're waiting for them to jump on, I'm gonna ask you guys to make sure that everything's cleared out and we'll get our stretches on. How you doing, ladies? Hey. How, are How are you? Good, good to see. Okay, so did you plan the like, color combo earth tone situation was this planned <laughs> no, no. We're, just, we're just so in sync sometimes it just happens i'm loving it. okay i'm gonna turn my camera off and i'm gonna get in sync with some stretching sound good <laughs> period period let's go <laughs> so um hey everybody i'm lexi and i'm gabby and today we're going to be showing you guys some of our favorite stretching routines and um, you guys can follow along with us. Yeah, so these are usually stretches that we do at practice or on our own. Uh, we're going to just run you guys through a basic, uh, simple warm up stretch. Nothing too difficult, but also is challenging. So it's definitely going to get your muscles nice and awake. And we're going to just jump right into it. So uh, make sure you have more room wherever you are around you. And yeah, let's get started. So the first one is uh, we're going to be standing up. Yep. Um, you're going to have your legs shoulder distance apart. And then you're going to put one arm up and lean over to the side. And this is really going to get like your oblique area 
and it's going to open your rib cage a lot. This is a really good stretch for your lower back too. You're going to hold that for about 20 seconds. Um, we're about 10 seconds in, so just hold it for about 10 more. And make sure you're breathing during these stretches because it's really good to get oxygen through your muscles. So, yeah. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to switch to the other side. We're literally like yin and yang. <laughs> I know. This is it's perfect. so fun. And also remember to do both sides because you never want to stretch one side more than the other. Otherwise, things may become uneven or your hips might be uneven or your back. So just make sure we're always doing both sides. And then you're gonna go down to the middle. Grab your ankles if you can and pull through. If you can't go all the way down, just go to as far as you can. But if you can, just try to pull on those ankles like Lexi said, and it will give you a deeper stretch. Make sure that your legs are straight and locked out so that you can actually feel the stretch happening. You don't want to bend your legs because then you won't get the full effect. And it feels great for your hamstrings. It's a great stretch for your hamstrings and actually your lower back too. All right, so next what you're gonna do is get into a straddle position legs spread out you're going to put one arm over the other arm across your side and try and grab your ankle and pull down this is also a really good one for like this like your oblique area guys and it is really great for your lower back too if you have lower back problems this really really helps open up those muscles and get your back kind of from you know being tight it loosens it a little bit so it also stretches this part of your leg. You should be able to feel that as well. And then you're going to switch sides. Hey, Lexi. <laughs> hey, <Kevin. laughs> so yeah, make sure you guys are really, whenever you're doing this, challenge yourself. If you don't feel anything, that means that you're probably not doing the stretch right. So make sure your hips are under, they're rotated under and you're really, really reaching. Good, make sure you also point your toes and we're gonna reach up and go down to the middle. <laughs> yep, and also it's okay if you can't go all the way down, just go as far like if you wanna do this or go all the way down like this, just as much as you can do that. And, may, and if you have somebody like to help you, they could pull your arms. It will be a lot easier to do. So yeah, keep it up. <laughs> All right. And we're gonna, uh, let's, you wanna do pike or, oh, oh yeah, yeah, let's do, let's do right lunge, right lunge. Okay. All right, and guys. What you're going to do is you're going to go into a, basically like a runner's lunge position where so, you just push your hips down. One leg is bent and one, well, they're actually they're It should look like this from the side. So make sure guys also that when you're in a lunge, your, your knee isn't like over, cause that's not gonna really do anything. So you wanna make sure your knee is a little bit up, like lined like up with your ankle. At like a 90 degree angle almost. Yeah. And make sure you're really, really going. Yeah. Push lunge. your hips as far to the ground as you can get them. Obviously, if you can't go super far, just go with whatever is most comfortable for you, but make sure that you also can feel that stretching sensation, mainly right here. Good, and we're gonna actually straighten our front leg now, and this is gonna give you like a really, really good stretch in your hamstring, so. And then chest down to your knee, and just hold that for about 20 seconds. Good, all right, and we're gonna slide into our split. So obviously, if you can't do a split, that's totally fine. If you're like this, just push, try to push your hips down as much as you can. 
You can to, hold yourself up if you need to, if you can't go all the way down. Also, if you are really flexible and you want to challenge yourself, just put something under your leg and raise your raise your leg a little bit. And that gives you a more of a hyperextension. Hold that for about 20 seconds. The burning means it's working. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And then we're always going to want to switch sides too, guys. So we're going to do both sides. Very, very important. And the main thing about stretching is to make sure that you're relaxed and you're not like tensing up because the minute that you start tensing up is the minute that you're not going to be able to get into those stretches that you want. And you have to be in a relaxed state of mind to make sure that you are actually getting a good stretch. So if you have to go outside in the nature park or wherever, <laughs> go ahead and channel your inner uh, peace, <laughs> your inner zen. <laughs> good. All right. And we're going to straighten that front leg again. And chest down to your knee. And we're going to do the exact same thing and sign to that split. Perfect. Flex the if squat. you have your splits down really perfectly, um, one way to also like um, extend your flexibility is to like try and grab your foot and pull your chest down. You can feel the stretch get more intense whenever you do that. But also don't push yourself too hard if you're not able to yeah. completely do the splits yet. All right, good. And that was the first part of our stretch. So now we are going to move on to the second part. And so. um, one of the things you can do to make your jumps look better, um, what you're going to do is Go into your straddle position. Um, for those of you that don't know what jumps are, <laughs> it's um, whenever cheerleaders jump into the air and go to that position. And these um, workouts are basically gonna help you with the leg strength to um, make those muscles that you use a lot stronger in your jumps. Yeah, so these are really just for training your jumps. So to jump higher, to make your legs go up uh, faster and also to the range of them to be able to go higher. So these are really, really good for jumps specifically. So for all my cheerleaders and dancers, this is for you. So you're gonna put one hand on this side, one hand on this side, and all you're gonna do is literally lift your leg. And we're gonna do that about 20 times. And main thing, you don't want to lean back and do it because that's not really doing anything. You want to make sure that you're sitting in an upright position and really, really using that muscle. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you want to do 20? Let's do, <laughs> let's do, we'll do 10. Let's do 10 on each side. Yeah. We're going to do 10 on each side. So we're going to start with the right. Ready? And five, six, six seven, seven, eight. One, one two, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, everybody. Woo! Now take a quick breather because those can be hard sometimes. Yeah. Honestly, I have struggled with those in the past. So if it's not easy for you, do not be disappointed because these are actually one of the more difficult things that we do. So don't discourage yourself if it's not easy. Yeah. And also like if you start feeling a little like a little shake, that's actually good. That means your muscle is like firing up and doing exactly what it is supposed to be doing. But if it starts getting to the point where it's shaking too much, then just stop because that that can mean you're overdoing overworking your muscles. So just a little, little shake. Also, you can go at your own pace. If we're going too fast for you, just do whatever feels right for you what she said. All right, <laughs> left side, here we go. And five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, my butt, six, <laughs> seven, seven, feel that burn. Eight, nine, nine eight, 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 eight,
I just got a cramp like right in my butt. I'm not gonna lie, I got a cramp too. I was like, ow, that kind of hurts. Okay. If you just made it through that, congratulations, everybody. You're doing great. You're doing great, sweetie. Okay. And is it uh you wanna do both legs or you wanna do maybe we could do both legs. Both legs. No, this one's the hardest one. <laughs> So definitely pace yourself. Yeah, this. if you can't do it at our speed and you want to break it up into five and five, that's totally fine too. So main thing, again, you want to make sure that you're in an upright position and you're really, really using your abs and also your legs because you can't really like, don't use the momentum. That's not going to really do anything. All right, Lexi, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> and five, six, seven, eight, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Woo! That was good. All right. Period. So Period. Period. let's do the flyer stretches on the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. So we're going to wrap it up with the jumps and we're gonna move into flyer stretches so that was all for jumps now these are for flyers and even if you're not a flyer you could still do this stretch because flexibility you could do a lot more things when you are flexible so anybody can do this so me and lexi are going to do some stretches really quick on you're, the wall yes you're going to need a wall and a partner to stretch with you yeah so we're gonna move the camera to right, we'll, we'll just, yeah, right here. <laughs> so basically what we're gonna do is Lexi, we're gonna switch, but Lexi is gonna take my leg and basically just pull it to where I feel is good. And you could go to however far you want. If you wanna also help and push the leg, you could do that too. What you're going to do as the um, stretcher is you're going to grab the ankle and the leg and just push it back. Don't push it too fast. Make sure you're going at a slow rate so that they can comfortably get into the position and you also won't hurt them and they'll tell you where to stop. And you hold that for about 20 seconds if you can, but if you can't hold it longer, then just come down whenever the person is ready. And again, we're going to do both sides for each stretch because we want to make sure that we're not over stretching one side and doing only one because that, that could be really unhealthy too. All right. So we're going to switch. To the other leg. Ooh, yeah, I felt that. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> usually has one leg that's significantly better than the other leg. So if one is bad and one is good, that's normal. Yeah, that's definitely normal. So... Same exact thing. And if you want to grab something like, or just put your hand here, I usually grab my leg and pull also, so it helps. And yeah. Also is, make sure that your bottom leg is not bending because then the stretch won't be getting the full effect. Yeah. And guys, this really, really does help for flyers specifically. So if you want to get flexible really fast, do these because I promise you, like, it really, really helps. And we're going to hold each stretch again for 20 seconds. <laughs> and we're good. In 10 seconds. And then you want to do one where you Ladies, I think I might have pulled a muscle. Oh, I'm so happy that you said that was challenging, because I, I, if otherwise I would have thought that, that I was alone. I am completely <laughs> impressed. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Guys, you guys want to come back over and join me? I, I'm I'm hoping that there's at least someone on the stream that felt what I felt. I am so <laughs> impressed. Thank you for that. Aww. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah, I hope that that the stretches helped anybody who's watching or you, Sunday. I am super happy that you liked it. <laughs> You've given me a goal to finish out 2020 with. I have to say again, ladies, I am such a big fan and I'm so happy that you're both here. I can't think of two better ladies to kick today off with. When I think of, uh, of today and what today is really about, it's about encouraging and pushing these young ladies that are on the stream watching to continue to show up 
you know, there's so many obstacles, there's so many hurdles and setbacks right now. And the goal is really to leave today feeling more motivated to go back even more resilient than ever. So thanks again for being here. I'm just gonna jump into some questions if that's cool with y'all. Yeah, of let's course. go. So when I think of like what's going on right now with the pandemic and to go, to go again, to say again, like some of the setbacks that we've all faced, it took me a minute to jump into my groove of being active again. Like I'll say like, if you can fast or not fast forward, if you can rewind to like the end of March when all of this started, I was like not active at all. I was just kind of sitting around the house waiting for it to pass. I thought it was going to be like a week or something. And I thought it was like kind of like a vacation for my body to, to relax and recover. And then I was like not active at all. Then I was like super crazy active. And then I was not active at all again. And then now I finally found a place that feels like my new normal. How have you guys really adapted the, to the change and continue to show up and be active and practice cheer? You want to All right. Uh, I'll go, I'll go first. Go first. Okay. Yeah, so um, I'm a very, I kind of feel you on the whole, like being motivated sometimes and then not being motivated sometimes. It's And it's really easy to get unmotivated because, right. you know, of course, everyone's always going to be like, I want to like chill today, like just stay in my house. But you also, I feel like everybody works differently. So if there's something that motivates you specifically, like use that and just keep it in your head. You're getting, you're wanting to get better and better yourself and get to a certain goal, whether it's, you know, something that motivates her could be something completely for me. Like my motivation is food. I love food. I'm like, girl, I'm gonna work out so I can eat this meal later. <laughs> so um, sign me up for some nachos later too. Yeah. So I think honestly, like as long as you have something that motivates you, I feel like that is usually a really good way to stay active. And uh, always just, I always also set a lock screen to like my goal, like what I want to. That's cute. Yeah. Like yeah. what I want. And I'll just literally, it reminds me every day, like, hey, get up or go do something. I'm like, all right. So, I love yeah. that accountability. Lexi, how have you continued to like practice, practice cheer? Um, honestly, at the beginning of the whole pandemic, I'm not going to lie. I was really like not doing anything because honestly, <laughs> my form of workout has always been cheer. Like I never like go into the gyms. I never really mm. like branched out and like tried other things of like, you know, getting athletic. So at the beginning, I just took it as like a defeat, like everywhere is closed, like yeah. nothing, nothing else seemed like something that I really wanted to get into. But then I got so like tired eventually, you know, like four months in and I'm like, okay, something has to change because I'm you got getting tired of doing nothing, right? Yes, like literally you're like, okay. It was fun maybe the first month and a half, but now I'm like sick of this. And you just like, cause I love like just being out there and like doing stuff that's like not just sitting around all day. And you feel good whenever you like get out and do something productive with, especially your like physical health. Right. And um, so what I started doing was like getting into like other things. Like I bought a couple of tennis rackets and me and my boyfriend would just go down to the park and like, you know, start running around playing tennis and um, whenever the gym started opening up like towards the end of like, you know, the four months, they eventually like started opening, but you know, there's still like all these rules and regulations. So I wasn't like going as often as I was. Cause you know, a lot of people honestly know my face at the gym and I didn't want too many people coming up to me because social distancing or whatever. And um, I just would kind of go to the gym every now and then but it was not that often. So whenever I came back to Navarro, like it hit me like a bus. Like yeah. I, well, it hit all of us like a bus. It, I think it, yeah, it did. But uh, to your to your point, both your point, it sounds like you really got your groove back, whether it's like setting a reminder or like having a physical goal that you can see or, or even touch, it, it's really looks like it's been the push or the driver to keep you moving. Now, I know yeah. you're both in Texas right now. Shout out to Texas. I'm from Houston. Hey. Uh, yeah. Come right? on. Okay, shout out to H-Town or yes. all the Southern people, I should say. So I know you're in Texas right now. And 
I, I mean, I kind of said this a moment ago, but you both are so resilient. I can only imagine like the obstacles that you faced, not just in 2020, but the obstacles, even as like young ladies that you faced in, in your career. I've had, personally, I've had so many challenges, um, but I am a huge believer in that if you can get through the challenge, something great will be waiting for you on the other side. Right. Right? That's very that, true. Yeah, challenge, that is so true. Yeah, challenge in the moment feels like a challenge and it hurts, but what's so beautiful about a challenge is that you make yourself stronger so that next time when you face a problem or an obstacle, you already know how to handle it, right? So yeah, the, only challenge exactly. is, the only bad thing about a challenge is learning nothing from it. So you gotta learn from it. So what is, what's an obstacle that you guys faced early on in your career that you had to learn from that hopefully can motivate and inspire uh, somebody on the stream today? You want well, to mine was honestly like getting out of the state of like procrastinating and like putting mm. things off. Good like one. I've always been really, really bad at like just making my tomorrow self deal with stuff and then i realized like down the road that like the more stuff you put off the easier it is to keep up those habits of like just i'll do that another time i'll do that another oh you gotta say that one again say that one again say that one again that was good so the more you like get into the habit of like putting things off like it really like becomes something that you will do often like you'll keep putting things off and putting things off until eventually like every single day you're like i'll do that tomorrow and then the next day you're like well i'll do that tomorrow and then you never get it done. You have to be so like persistent on like even fighting, you know, those negative thoughts in your head where you're like, oh, mm -hmm. I just can't do that right now. Like I have no energy, but like if you can do it whenever you don't have energy, you can do it whenever. And right. you just have to get into like the habit of like constantly pushing yourself to your goal because, you know, if you have a schedule, what I learned is that having a schedule helps because if you're like just going to go to the gym whenever it feels right, like you're never going to go to the gym. You have okay. to push yourself to have a schedule so that like there's no excuses. And that's I totally, what I learned helps me. I totally agree with you. Okay, so Lexi says don't procrastinate, write stuff down, create a schedule, stick to it. Gabby, what's your, what would you say? So I think something that I had to definitely overcome was just uh, really realizing like it's okay to mess up because when you mess up, that is actually going to help you for the next time, like you were saying, that something's thrown at you. So it's okay to not be perfect all the time. And like for athletes, especially, I mean, we have to have mess ups because oh, it, yeah. the mess ups is, what's, is what makes us better and stronger like um i think for any athlete i could speak on any athlete i mean even like you know the best like lebron james and uh i'm just lebron james right there's so many amazing athletes but like mm -hmm. you know they they didn't have a perfect road like to success i mean they had to work for it and really really like a lot of people don't see the mess ups, but I'm like, I'm sure they had mess ups, you know, that they were like wanting to give up at some points, but they pushed through, like Lexi said, like you got to just do it. And right. I think that's really what life is about. Like, yeah, there's going to be a lot of things thrown at you constantly and being, you know, they, whether it's people or things trying to put you down. Mm -hmm. But the the main thing is you can't let those things bring you down. You got to you have to push through because it will it will get better and you will overcome whatever challenge comes your way and come out stronger from the and come out stronger. I love that you said that too, Gabby, and specifically speaking to athletes or to sports, you can't not do something out of fear of doing it wrong or failing at it. The only way that you will be better at any one thing in life is by showing up. And when you show up, you have to know that you're risking failing at it along the journey to get there. I was having this thought the other day. I was saying that if you want to be comfortable, comfortable equals normal. And if you want to be great, great equals uncomfortable. So if you yeah. want to be really, really great at things, you have to be willing to face those uncomfortable moments, like not doing well at it in order to succeed and to get Absolutely. to the I mentioned yeah. in the intro, I said, you know, I received these so many no's along my journey. Like I tried out, I tried out for cheers so many times, you guys. Yeah. I, 
I wish I knew you then. <laughs> I have so many times I met Girl, you. you would, if you came here, we would have had you set. I know. So. Okay, I'm never, never too old. Maybe I should try it again. Maybe that's my goal for 2022. We'll but <laughs> I'm so happy that I didn't let those no's get in the way because it's so easy to hear no and no. And like right now, it's so easy to be distracted because there's no tournaments and your team's not playing. And it's so easy to just like do nothing, but you got to like stay ready because the next opportunity will most certainly come. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, girl, you exactly. listen. It's you so easy to be put down when everyone around you is telling you no, but like the one thing that truly matters is you telling yourself, yes, you can. Yes. And that's where it starts. Yeah, and you are you're a pro Peloton instructor. So yeah, girl, come you're on. Thriving. Okay? You're thriving. So when I get back to Texas, we're going for uh Mexican food and you guys are gonna teach me how to do what you just did earlier because I was not good at it. Ah! Okay, so I've got my okay. yeah. I love I it. Yes. Like 30 yes. seconds to take you guys through a speed round. So okay, so this is the theme of this. I, my game is called like speed drill round a la tumbe. I don't have a name for it, but you don't have to think about the answers. You just have to say whatever comes to mind as it comes out. Okay. okay, okay. So okay. keep in mind, these questions are all geared towards 2020. Okay. Oh, Favorite God. activity to do outside? Activity to do outside? Uh, um, swim. swim. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't swim, but you got to teach me that too. I'm, I can swim. Ah! I can, like, float. We got I can, you. Float. Favorite TV show? Stranger Things. Oh, I love Stranger Things. I'm gonna go with that one too. I haven't watched anything. Uh, I like, oh Oprah. My God. I like God. Oprah's podcast. You gotta uh, watch it. I'll, I watched season one, but I fell off, but I'll get back on, I'll get back on. So uh, where would you, if there was no restrictions, where would you travel to? Japan. Hawaii. Ooh. Hawaii? Hawaii. Hawaii is the best pineapple on the planet. I would probably believe it or not, just go to Texas to see my family. Oh, that's so sweet. Family is everything. Good to see you guys. Last one, uh, hobby or skill that you learned in 2020? Uh, cooking. Good one? <laughs> oh my God. I don't even think that I've learned anything new. <laughs> okay, we're gonna come back to- I learned, one. wait, I learned how to work Zoom, but I don't think oh. that's a favorite hobby. <laughs> That's definitely a skill, but it's not a No, hobby. that is real good. Actually, I'm going to change my answer and say that as well. I've gotten better with electronics. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Yes, that, I love that. I yeah, love that. That was good. Awesome. Very okay. on top of the top of the head. Right, yeah. It's so much. It's just fast and fun and quick. So I'm going to leave you guys with this really quickly. Just give me one line of advice that you would give to somebody, a young girl that's on here right now about staying in the game. A two, a one sentence piece of advice. Do not let your negative thoughts or just your procrastinating get in the way of your goal. Just push mm -hmm. yourself to get out there. I promise you pushing yourself to get there is the hardest part, but once you're there and once you're already working out, you will thank yourself later, I promise it. I love that, push yourself. Awesome. <laughs> So my favorite saying is hard work will triumph over natural talent if natural talent doesn't oh. work hard. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I really that's like that good. because I feel like you could have some of the best, like most naturally gifted people, but it will always be the hard workers that triumph over any of the natural talents because that. of the work. It's I love that. always. I'm gonna cry. You're gonna make me cry. That, that was, was good. That was a good one. That was really I'm good. Glad you liked <laughs> that was so good. I've I've said this before. I've never there's not one job that I've ever auditioned for, interviewed for in my life that I've ever gotten the first time around. I've never gotten a job the first time around. And I believe what you're saying, like if you work really, really hard, it's gonna happen. So you just gotta keep your head in the game and keep going. Absolutely. I'm gonna end with this though. I I have always said like when you're when in doubt, remember to use use your voice and and always be willing to speak. So what I'm gonna have you do, Gabby, Lexi, turn and face each other. Everybody that's here joining us, find someone in the room, face them, grab them, <laughs> tell them they gotta come over and do this with you. I'm gonna have you close your eyes so that it doesn't feel silly, okay? So you're gonna close your eyes and I just want you to repeat after me and you can both just kind of talk over each other. You're, you're saying this to yourself, but you're gonna hold each other accountable to this promise. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Okay. I surrender control. I surrender control. 
Knowing I can only control my own thoughts and actions. Knowing I can only control my own thoughts and actions. I am never powerless. I am never powerless. I own my power and I'm stronger than I think. I own my power and I'm stronger than I think. I choose to have em empathy for others and for myself. I choose to have empathy for others and, and myself. myself. I will be authentic because authentic authenticity makes me me. I will be authentic <laughs> because authenticity makes, me, makes me, me me. I commit to doing the work. I, I commit, commit to, to do the work. work to become more knowledgeable in my life to become more knowledgeable in my life. Now open your eyes and say, I, I surrender. Say it to each other, I surrender. I surrender. I am never powerless. I'm, I'm never, never powerless. powerless. I choose to have empathy. I choose to have empathy. I will always be authentic. I will always be authentic. And I commit to doing work and I commit to doing work to become more knowledgeable. To become more knowledgeable. Now give that person a hug and say, hold me accountable. <laughs> <laughs> We're literally like, it's funny because me and her, like I said, this past year I'm like we're like yin and yang like you look like the white side and I look like the dark side and it's like I literally just every time I see her it's like we're just we're literally like soulmates it's so <laughs> I feel that energy honestly I would if I didn't know I would have thought that you were sisters or just like oh. you know life best friends but Lexi Gabby I cannot thank you both enough for joining me today Athleta cannot thank you enough for putting on this awesome awesome empower hour for our girls on the stream this was so much fun we got to do it again one day yes thank yes. you so much you are so much amazing fun. and thank, thank you, you. Being an amazing host we love yes, love love, love Athleta and we're very, very happy that we got to do this Empower Hour with you guys. So thank you. Thank you so much for thank inviting you. us. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks, everybody, on the stream. Stay active. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Love you all. Okay. Period. That was good.